Welcome into WAXC TV, Lake TV, and Lake Life. David Burkhalter here with you today, and we are on an island adventure getaway. No, we haven't ventured down to Florida, or we're not in the Caribbean. We are in eclectic Alabama at one of the coolest places that you're ever going to go. It's Bezlo's, and if you've never heard of it, well, that's because it's new. But you are in store for quite an adventure because today we're going to experience a little bit of everything. You got Jimmy Buffett playing in the background. We've got craft beer, gourmet pizza, live entertainment, steaks, seafood, all sorts of fun happening right here in beautiful eclectic Alabama. I saw a sign on the door outside that said, it's the Mayberry of Alabama. Well, today it's the Caribbean of Alabama right here at Bezlo's and on WAXC TV in Lake Life. Welcome back into WAXC TV. I found our first patron of the night. He's been giving Tracy the eye here at Bezlo's in Eclectic, Alabama. And we just were going to interview him real quick and thought, ask him what he thought about, uh, you know, the atmosphere here because right now it's a little dead. Boom, boom. Just kidding. Hey, it's about to liven up though. Grand opening at Bezlo's here in Eclectic, Alabama. An atmosphere like none other. Tonight, live music. They have karaoke every Thursday night as well. So stop by right here. It's really easy to find. You head down 63, take one turn out of downtown Eclectic. First round's on him tonight at Bezlo's. Welcome back to WAXC TV. I have the brains behind one of the most fun places we've ever been, uh, Bezlo's in Eclectic, Alabama. Mike here with us. Mike, my first question for you, why Eclectic? That's where I'm from. My wife and I grew up here, lived here, graduated high school from here, and we still live here. So giving back to the community, does that, I mean, that means a lot, obviously, to a lot of people, but does it hold special meaning to you to be able to come back? You said you went to high school here and stuff like that and give back to the community by having a business here. You're supporting the econ local economy. That means a lot, right? It does. Um, we try to do everything as much as possible to support the people around here. For example, the majority of our meats are local farm-raised meats. My buddy Chris George has a farm right down the road, has about 400 acres, raises his own hogs, has his own cows, and that's the meat that we serve here. So we're not only supporting his family and the people that support his farm, but the people that work here as well. That's awesome. Uh, Bezlo's, I call it my island getaway. That's what I've been experiencing while I've been here. It has a little bit of everything. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the menu because uh, when I was first told about this place, I was told gourmet pizza, I was told steaks, I was told seafood, just about anything you can want you can get here. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect on that end. Well, if you like a good steak, we make an incredible ribeye. But one day we were sitting around, it's like, how do we, uh, how do we get rid of the, the ribeyes that didn't sell tonight? Or the loins that we had that didn't sell tonight? We started chopping them up, putting them on some pizzas. Next thing you know, we have this incredible prime rib pizza that everybody loves. We have an Oysters Rockefeller pizza, wow. a rock lobster pizza, bacon macaroni and cheese pizza. I mean, the sky's the limit on some of the stuff that we put together. And then we have your regular run of the mill. Somebody just wants a cheese, pepperoni. We can give them just whatever they want in a pizza. That is absolutely amazing. Also a bar. I know that's a big draw for a lot of folks like that like to drink craft beer. Oh, man. I mean, all sorts. I was looking at the selection and you have a little bit of everything. Some beers that are here, I've never even heard of before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Well, we have uh, 44 different beers, and most of those are made up of about 30 different craft beers, most of them from in and around uh, Alabama. Uh, some of my favorites would be like Avondale. They're up here in Birmingham. Yeah. They came down here, really supported us. We're trying to do our best to support them. They also have a distillery that they're opening up right now. Absolutely incredible people. Going back to what you were talking about with uh, supporting our community, we found out there's a distillery, John Emerald, that's in Opelika. So we started selling all of their products. They have, a, they have an incredible rum, an incredible single malt whiskey. They have a gin that is, you know, most gins have this pine tree taste, but theirs has this anise finish. Wow. They have this vodka that is just so impeccably clean. It almost smells like a, the sexiest woman's perfume has been sprayed, that's how it finishes. So those guys are coming out on the uh, 29th of this month to do a two and a half hour free tasting with us. So we really want to have drinks that are really special, but also still support Alabama and all the people around here. And especially if they're around the lake in our area where I grew up and a lot of our, our listeners grew up, that's what we're trying to do. 
So not just craft beer though, uh, I heard you had a pretty nice wine selection as well. A significant wine selection. We have 20 different types of wines. Actually 20 different brands. I don't even know how many types. That's awesome. So for you wine connoisseurs, it's not that far down the road from Ellic City, Dadeville, Opelika, Auburn to come to Eclectic and try this out. I mean, the atmosphere here is, is phenomenal. It's a great time uh, and you're going to have a lot of fun because I've also heard Thursday nights, open mic karaoke, yeah. and then also live music, including tonight. We're going to have a live singer tonight, right? We got Russell Craig coming tonight, uh, local hometown hero. He's done a lot with uh, Kalijah Idol. I mean, the guy is just a phenomenal musician. I got to play with him a couple years ago. We had a singer-songwriter night next door, which is another thing we're going to be working on. We're going to be having a singer-songwriter nights on Tuesdays, and we're hoping to get some folks like Russell to come out and bring some other people and just kind of do a round robin. But, I mean, anything that we can do to help support the community and bring people together, what we're looking to, to create here is like a modern-day cheers. Everybody knows your name. Everybody's glad to see you. I mean, you come in, they greet you with a smile, and you just can't wait to get there, and it just hurts your feelings to leave. I, I, I can already tell because from the time that we've walked in, everybody has been uh, exceedingly nice. We got to meet Allie, who we'll talk to in just a few minutes. She was very nice and very helpful. But the atmosphere here... Uh, I, I got to wonder, what's up with the, and I love it, but the island sort of atmosphere, they got the Jimmy Buffett playing in the background. You talked about uh, lobster on your pizza, oysters on your pizza. Was that something that you came up with, or was that something that you thought maybe was needed in the area? How did you come up with the idea of the atmosphere that you built here? Um, with regard to atmosphere, I was born on a island in the middle of the Florida Everglades, and that's where my family lived for about seven generations. We were nothing but commercial fishermen. And we ended up coming up here via Maxwell Air Force Base and ended up staying for the most part. And we always loved good fresh seafood. Not the little skimpy shrimp, you know, not these little frozen oysters. We wanted good seafood because we were supposed to get it out of the backyard and we could eat it that day. Nobody else can do that around here. So what we try to do is to create that environment so it seemed like grand grandpa and a bunch of my uncles just got off the boat just unloaded a whole bunch of shrimp, just unloaded a whole bunch of oysters. They pulled up in right to the oyster bar. They unloaded everything and like, hey guys, let's have a crawfish boil. That's what we try to create here. I can't wait. You're gonna to get to experience some of the food visually, but I highly recommend you come down here and experience it live and in person because it's gonna be some of the best tasting stuff that you can imagine. We're gonna show you a couple of images in just a few minutes of some of the food. I'm excited about it. I like to eat, I like to drink, I like to have a good time and that's exactly what we have going on here at Bezlo's in downtown Eclectic. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We'll talk later, man. We're going to have a good time here. We want you to come down. It's the grand opening. Bezlo's here, downtown Eclectic on WAXC-TV. Welcome back into WAXC-TV and Lake Life. David here with the lovely Miss Allie at Bezlo's in downtown Eclectic. We're having a lot of fun. And it's one of my favorite segments because we have cupcakes <laughs> cooked by Master Chef Allie. Allie, I've heard lots of good things. They smell phenomenal. Tell us the secret behind these cupcakes. Fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries. Now, you don't have them out here right now, but I hear tell that you have a cupcake that is like world champion quality good <laughs> with your banana pudding cupcake. Where did you learn to bake all these things? I learned from my nanny growing up when I was little. Now, you're still in high school. You go to Elmore County High. And I got to ask you, how do you like spending your free time here at Bezlo's? Coming here to shoot pool or just grabbing something to eat. All right, $5, me versus you, game of pool. Who wins? Uh, obviously me. Obviously her. She just don't know. She don't know. Hey, listen, we're having a lot of fun here at Bezlo's. Uh, we're here with Allie. She's cooked us some cupcakes. I'm going to probably, there's five on the plate, I think. Yeah, five, six, something like that. I'm probably going to eat at least four. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. I'll be a little fuller, and we'll put Allie to work to make some more, maybe the banana pudding ones, when we come back on WAXC-TV and Lake Life. Welcome back in to WAXC-TV and Lake Life. Josh here with me today. Talking a little bit about the atmosphere here at Bezlo's, and nobody better to talk to it about than this guy. He's a fun time. Been over here flipping drinks around and, and, and trying to catch the Dropping tops. Dropping a few and, and yeah, Just having mess. a good time, man. Look, it's all about a good time here at Bezlo's, right? It absolutely is, man. We are so excited. Um, we're kind of doing kind of a grand opening tonight, really. We've done a soft opening for 
a couple months now, just trying to get everybody, you know, around here, get the buzz out. Um, and now we got people walking in right now. We're so excited to be here. I really think Eclectic needs a place like this and the lake too. I mean, we're right up the road, man. Yeah. And, and our biggest thing is we don't want to take anything away from anybody who's up here. We just want to kind of add to it, you know, and add a little flavor, add a little sauce to it, like to call it, man. Um, live music, live music. That's what my favorite thing. Come in here and hang out. Karaoke, do you sing karaoke? Now I was going to ask you, do you sing karaoke? You do, yeah, man, you know, a couple, couple drinks. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah. Anybody gets a couple of drinks in them, they're going to sing karaoke. That's so right, this man. is a place to come, man. I've heard Absolutely. there are over 30 different kinds of craft beers. Is that right? There is, man. And, and we're going to get some more, too. Um, we're kind of experimenting with some we've never heard of, too. So it's been that's really fun for us, too, is to find not only what we like, but what people around here like. Because yeah. a lot of them haven't had this kind of stuff either. So it's it's that's kind of a fun part of it, is finding new beers that really people enjoy. Well, I think it's time for me and Josh to have a drink. It's time for you to sit back and enjoy some really good food, really good music. Come down to Bezlo's here in Eclectic on Lake Life. Welcome back to WAXC TV and Lake Life. David here with you one last time at Bedslow's in Eclectic, where we have had an outstanding time tonight from the food that was phenomenal to the live entertainment, craft beer, wine, gourmet pizza, everything that you could want. It's right here at your own little island escape in Eclectic, Alabama. Real easy to get here. Highway 63, right into Eclectic. It's one turn off of 63. You can't miss it. Downtown Eclectic, one of the most fun places we've ever been to on Lake Life, in my opinion. Some of the best food and, of course, good craft beer, good entertainment, and fine folks right here at Bezlo's and Eclectic and on Lake Life, WAXC-TV.